Hi, this is Shadi. So today we will be talking about grips with the jacket and without the jacket and performing the same exact throw. But before I do that, I just want to say just a little bit of information that the idea of wrapping the arms from over or under is also been done in old jujitsu. In the past, they would strip out their clothes staying in nothing but what they call the monkey pants and they grappled so naturally you would come up with these positions so here in the nage no kata they explain that this is an old jujitsu stance the self-defense stance and also here you see the uh, old jujitsu grips different from what you've seen with the evolution of the jacket now you might still see some of it in today's competition. Here you see Ono Shohei throwing an Uchimata with an overhook. And uh, we, have to exp we have to understand that unbalancing and destroying someone's posture using their jacket is arguably one of the hardest things uh, in grappling. That's why so few actually master it. And the amount of skill that it takes is actually insane. To perform this and remain standing like Inoue did here and look at the posture how it is just progressively collapses and here he throws it's just nothing short of pure mastery in my opinion so throwing with a jacket is way harder than people think and it's way harder than a nogi so people would say what do you do in the streets there is no jacket well it's actually much easier once you know the ins and outs of no gi and me having trained this for a few months now i can explain so here you see this is how you unbalance with a jacket so the the effect you're trying to create here is like a little pinch of the shoulder and you see the amount of slack there is in the jacket this is from superstar judo link below and with more distance there is far more difficulty with control something that's f the more it's far from you the harder it is to obviously control and this is the main factor here you see the effect he is creating on the shoulder like it's like pinching it with an overhook or an underhook and with the jacket there's far more slack and thus far more difficult and so once you transition to nogi say it's easier so here is koji komuro explaining that for beginners uh, looking to learn uchimata he says don't use the lapel grip but here go around the waist why because there's far less distance and there is hip to hip contact and hence the throw is much easier to learn how you position yourself and how you lift them etc and getting it from the lapel that closeness and that unbalancing is far more difficult so for beginners start doing this and i'll just say this in your first judo session you can do an ogoshi but it will take you years to do an uchimata so this is all you need to know regarding the contact whether it is shoulder to shoulder or hip to hip with the slack the control is far more difficult and hence it requires far more mastery and this is the ultimate difference between the two so he says to learn uchimata you have to learn hanegoshi how to position your hips your legs and start with the hip to hip contact around the waist not from the lapel now let's go to some nogi throws with satoshi ishii here with his uh, judo fanatics dvd so first let's start with the underhook uh, uchimata here you see he's already pinching the shoulder and hence it is already much easier to throw so you pinch the shoulder down the posture is already compromised and all you need to do is just tackle the leg lift up and then turn away in the direction of the throw and your hand and your waist following you they will follow you over and fall down it is much more smoother once you know the ins and out of throwing with the jacket i'm saying this after i got my black belt and after i've competed and after i've been doing pro only gi and now here coming to no gi recently this season i find that throwing 
without the key is actually much easier. Here you see with the overhook and it's far more control in Uchimata. Uh, underhook is more for Ochigari and here you see that when you pinch the shoulder from up and here you see the pinch headlock again it's even more easier to do it because it's all about compromising the posture and collapsing it and with those grips that you've seen over under and pinch headlock it is just way easier and so the slack of the jacket teaches you far more control because of the distance so this is just me having fun with it with my friend Philippe so just see how smooth it is and way less energy once you establish that control now Satoshi Ishii during that seminar here in the, the SDS Academy in Germany he taught us a lot of hand fighting and how to get close uh, and just using grappling methods to get close and pinch the shoulder etc and uh, I have to say that before my sole concern was you know, how to close that gap that what that was what really scared me in a sense and uh, but now you know getting my black belt training only with the gi you know the frustration of throwing with things like uchimata seoenage etc and now moving to nogi and uh, sparring with alongside my judo training uh, when I got back from the seminar of Ishii and we started uh, sparring, we started standing up this week, I'm talking, and it was just easier to get in. I did the tricks that Ishii has taught and uh, Nogi Judo, so to speak, or uh, upper body throws is actually way easier without the jacket. But that's only because I've struggled for years with the jacket and uh the more i learn other crafts so to speak like uh, i i went to sumo i um, i'm doing no gi jiu jitsu here at the same time of course newaza obviously always with the gi as well and the more i appreciate judo grip fighting and kuzushi it's the hardest skill you can learn grappling wise in my opinion and there's many or there's a huge reason why a lot of people pull guard uh, a lot of people are not good at takedowns even black belts the ins and outs of uh, kuzushi and throwing they're still very weak at them and it's just simply lack of research and lack of studying not necessarily lack of training and uh, again I only realized this because I trained with the gi and now that I know it's it's actually much easier and much smoother and it gives me a little bit more confidence you know if god forbids something happens and uh also for judokas uh, you have to know the ins and outs of hand fighting and how to get close and everything else will just follow and it's much easier than with the jacket so if you have anything to add please let me know down below consider supporting me on patreon or become a channel member i would greatly appreciate it this was shady and thank you for listening